Before we get into today's video, I wanted to share the sponsor, which is BarkBox. I got two Bark Boxes, one for Fitz, one for Coco, and they're gonna open them. You guys know I'm like absolutely obsessed with my dogs. If you guys didn't know, BarkBox is a monthly subscription service for dogs. Each box is also one of a kind, so it's tailored towards your dog. This month's theme is the Peanuts box. Each month is a different theme. There's free shipping. You guys can join the Extra Toy Club for only $7 a month. Okay, I'm getting both of these out. Oh my God, it's so cute. You guys can shop the products in the description box. I will have every single thing linked. So cute. I've been waiting to open them to film this video and it's just, oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, the dogs want them. So this is for Fitz. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> We've got some, oh no way, no way. Look at these little treats, that's so cute. <gasps> He'll love this. Oh my gosh. So it's like the gang's all here. <gasps> Do you love it, Fitz? Oh. And then we've got one for Coco. So we have all of these little toys. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I actually just am absolutely obsessed with this. And then some more treats. The dogs are going to be playing with this stuff legit all day. <gasps> Peanuts, look. Oh my gosh, Fitz, that is so cute. Well, He's off. Guys, I love this. I'm literally crying. These are so cute. Okay, also, I love that it comes with treats because as a dog owner, that is just so convenient. I feel like I'm always running out of treats even though I buy them 24 seven. Fitz has already left us to play with his toy. I haven't even taken the tag off, boy. This is truly, I think, one of my favorite deals I've ever done. So anyways, BarkBox links will be down below. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Good morning, everyone. It is so cold outside. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. The trees outside of my house are beautiful. And like when you look outside of my house, it's just an orange, it's just all these orange leaves. It's so pretty. Anyways, I need some coffee. I don't think I have, what? It's Monday morning, it really is. Seriously, guys, I literally, oh, there's something wrong with me, seriously. So we're gonna start all of this over. Good morning, everyone. Oh, no, I just stained my table. I'm a mess this morning. Anyways, happy Monday morning, everyone. Vlogmas day 14. Fitz lays, oh, they've been caught. Fit lays down to keep it fair, and then they just like bite each other's faces. And they have the time of their lives, and they make this really ugly sound. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm not even trying to do this. Today is Monday morning, I'm excited because right behind me is the art piece that I have been waiting on for two months from CB2. So I'm very excited because that's supposed to go in my master bedroom. So I'm gonna decorate my bedroom, make it look better. I'm gonna take you through the process. I actually need to unpack from yesterday. I am normally one of those like serial killers that I see on Twitter that um, unpacks as soon as they get home. However, I didn't yesterday because I was so tired and just exhausted and I went to bed at like seven. So I'm doing that. I have some meetings today. I have some recordings today. We're hanging out at the house. I have a professional organizer coming over too. So it's gonna be a good little productive at home day. I just feel like I have lost the ability to talk to a camera since Vlogmas. You guys wanna see it on my Instagram that Dear Media sent us these really cute Christmas gifts. And look, I even have a hat. So cute. I knew the present was gonna be great when I saw the Helen's Wines wrapping, meaning it's John and Benny's. Look at these, little John and Benny's chocolate bars, I'm assuming, yeah. Little John and Benny's chocolate bars, a little Christmas card, and then wine. So kind of them, guys. I also, I have a meeting with them today, too, so. Got a lot, got a lot to do. I woke up at seven, and I just have been kind of sitting here, you know, trying to, like, get the motivation. Cheers, everyone. Good morning. I know a lot of you guys watch these vlogs when you drink your morning coffee, so just wanted to join them a fun, you know? Also, really quickly, gonna answer the family tree question. I got it a lot on the last vlog. The lake house vlog that you guys saw is my mom's side of the family. Alyssa, my cousin, is actually on my dad's side of the family, but she's just like with both and obviously grew up with my mom as her aunt. I've answered it in vlogs a few times, but that was my mom's side of the family. My mom is remarried and Alexis and Ryan are my step siblings. My dad is also remarried and Seth and the triplets, well Seth is one of the triplets, are on my dad's side. So that is that. 
Alyssa just goes between both. She's technically like blood related to my dad. It is now time for me to unbox my beautiful, beautiful art print. I'm very excited. It's from CB2. I'll link it below, but I don't really think that, I mean it took, it was at least like un unavailable until December, so you guys can check if you're interested. I'll link it if it's available. This box is so big. I was worried it wasn't even gonna be big enough, and here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow. We're lost. Oh, I love it. Okay, you can't even tell because the lighting is on it weird, but it's really cool because it's all these different like textures here. I just want like all neutrals, all beiges. I want my bedroom to be like so calm. Okay, yeah, I'm into this. So this is the area I'm gonna start to figure out. It has random, this is not decorated. I just had random things on here, to be clear. Not decorated. Um, my mom actually gave this to me. This is like part of her little grad celebration thing for me at the lake. Guys, tomorrow is my last day of college ever, but I already finished my assignment, so like it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I think I'm gonna keep this one. These are definitely going. I do have this cute, I need to put this downstairs. Like, look, this is from West Elm, but it's this really cute little snow globe. It's a disco ball. These are my devotion books, so I stay sane, you know? Okay. Let's get rid of all of this over here. Honestly, I need to buy stuff. I need to really rearrange. I have so much like home decor stuff that's just in the den. I need to go through that. The first step, honestly, will be working with this professional organizer. That's gonna be an incredible experience, okay? I'm gonna need to go to the store. I thought of maybe I'll order online. Wow. I'm like worried that these specs are not supposed to be there, but like, I think they are. Okay, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's absolutely incredible. Okay, so like I need different candles and stuff, and obviously I need like things of different height, but I don't really have anything right now. You know what, maybe, I think, I think these might do something. This go away. Yeah, like this is better for sure. I like where we're going. I feel like we're heading in the right direction. Let me see from far away. I just like that it's really simple and there's not much there. Like it just feels clean, you know what I mean? I'm in the middle of just cleaning and rearranging so many things. I'm gonna actually clean up my sheets and my bedding, but I'm excited because I just got this new sheet set because I had been using pretty much the same one and just washing it over and over again and that's just like not the most efficient way to do that. I know I have another set of sheets. I just don't know where I put them, honestly. I don't know how they've disappeared in my house. Anyways, I got another set from Buffy, and I'm really excited. That's where my bedding is from, the actual like comforter itself. But I'm excited to do this. I'm gonna go downstairs, start doing laundry. Um, someone is coming over to finish cleaning from last week when they were cleaning my house, and it felt so much better. They didn't get a chance to finish, so they're gonna do that today. Whew, guys, I am like out of breath, and it is hot in my house right now. I wanted to show you guys this product. I've had it for a while and I think when I first got it, I said I wasn't like absolutely obsessed with it. And I actually take that back. I realized that it was because I was putting too many oils on at first. I wore this at the lake house this weekend and literally every girl in the house ordered it because it was so good. So it's the Kosas, Kosas, how am I, am I saying it right? I don't know. It's the Tinted Face Oil. I wear it a shade 3.5. The only thing I put on underneath it will be the Ordinary Hyaluronic Serum, which by the way, if you don't have this, you need it. It's literally $12. I think you can get one for seven. That's a little bit smaller too. It lasts you forever and it is so good for your skin. The Ordinary is such a good skincare line and it's really inexpensive. So. If you guys are looking for good skincare that's inexpensive, buy The Ordinary. Um, I've heard really good things about everything of theirs, honestly, but this is my personal fave from them. I haven't tried everything, though. The dogs are crazy. I'm so excited for today because I'm just doing so much around the house, too. Also, one of you commented, because I was talking about how I really want to redo my bathroom, but I don't want to, like, actually get it renovated, and they were like, you need to get one of those mirrors, like a storage mirror. 
genius. Also, um, I'm gonna replace that light. I thought I already ordered one. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys this oil. So this is my skin, just naturally. I just like drip it on like they do in those Instagram videos, okay? I find that it absorbs too quickly into my beauty blender if I don't do it this way. It just makes your skin look so good. Oh, you know what? I still tan yesterday, so this is gonna be too light for me. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just makes your skin look like flawless. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin. It's a perfect like everyday look. I'm more of like a natural makeup girl. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. It just looks so much better. So I will link it below. Also, this Real Technique sponge, you can get four of these for like $14 and one beauty blender is 20 and these are actually better than beauty blenders. And best thing ever, I wear shade 3.5. It's just so good. So Danielle just came over and she went through everything so we could order everything to get organized and then she's gonna come over and actually professionally organize. Also guys, I am dying because she says that they have a like pet bakery, which is so cute. I believe it's in North Dallas, I wanna say. Wolfgang, like so cute, right? Look, a Texas little dog cookie. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I mean, I'm like, don't even want them to eat this just cause I think it's so cute. Obviously, I will give it to them, but you know what I mean. And then these pumpkin little bites, which Fitz really, really loved. I just gave it to him. So cute. So, anyways, she's the sweetest. She's so cute, so nice. And I'm really excited to, like, share our organization journey with you guys. I mean, just looks so cute, guys. All right, so the house is finishing getting cleaned from last week. I need to go work in my office. I am so excited for the organization project. Also, I think I am hopefully going to get my kitchen redone in early 2021, and I'm gonna do like a little bathroom project. So stay tuned for all the home projects, guys. It is 1 p.m. I've just been working at my computer on my desk, doing a bunch of just boring adult things. But I ordered some lunch because I was starving and I haven't gone grocery shopping. I was gone this weekend, so I don't really have food here. Um, I have some tacos. Love a Taco is one of my favorite restaurants in Dallas. It is so good. Anyways, I ordered this on DoorDash. I will link my DoorDash code below or just give me my code below because you guys get money off of free food and free delivery. So. All right, guys, it's 1.43. PM, I have just been working in my office. That's the thing about Vlogmas is like so much of my just day-to-day -day life is spent working on a computer and that's not fun to show. I am about to record an intro or some ads or however much I can get done and then I'm recording with Gretchen, which I'm really excited for. So that episode will be up on New Year's Eve. And then after that, I have a meeting with Jeremy Media and Dom, who is still in Arizona and not in Texas. So spam her, please, everyone. She claimed she'd be back for the lake trip and uh, look where she was, not at the lake. Anyways, I'm getting some stuff done. My house feels so much better already. They're not even done yet, but like, oh my gosh, what a treat. Am I right, guys? So hard because there's always something to be due and every, I've, heard this so much recently I've seen it on Instagram everything is contentable so like me drinking my green smoothie I'm like oh my gosh I should take a picture and like share it on my Instagram story or like it's snowing outside I'm like I gotta get a cute boomerang like I feel pressure and I know it's just me pushing putting pressure myself to like take content of everything because it's happening and I want to like put out as much as I can and share my life with everyone so it's definitely tough um, but I like to get my workout done in the morning and I've noticed the days that I push myself like today that I get ready after I work out and actually like, don't just sit in sweatpants and a sweatshirt all day after a shower and like put on maybe a sweater and leggings and like curl your hair a little bit and do a little makeup. I feel so much better. I'm way more productive. Like no one's seeing it. Like I guess my vlogs, like you guys are seeing it, but like, I'm not going out anywhere. I'm not doing it. Honestly, most days it'll be like three days go by. And I look back, I'm like, I didn't even leave my apartment. <laughs> like, yes. I just feel like, I just remember going through, I mean, I've had like two serious relationships in the second one right now. So the first one, going through that breakup, it was like the worst thing in the world, obviously. And I have a close friend who recently was going through one. And we always say how when you're going through a breakup, you feel like physically sick. Like it's, it's just like the worst ever. And sometimes you are physically sick and it's from the heartbreak and like the rug being ripped out from underneath of you. And I'm sure people listening can relate to this. And it's just 
awful and the worst thing ever and you have to feel it and you have to let it out because if you bottle it all up it's gonna come out later on when you don't want it to you know yeah. so it's like talking it out with friends family like your support system like it's so important all right guys i just finished recording with gretchen i'm going to record one more intro or something like that and then i'm meeting with your media in 27 minutes so then after that hopefully i can leave my desk we will see. I'm not really sure. But it was great talking to Gretchen. I freaking love her. She's the cutest person ever. So nice. Just the best person. And you guys should watch her YouTube videos if you don't already. I'm sure all of you guys who watch mine watch hers because she's just the best. But yeah, I'm going to finish recording, send all this stuff over, and then hop on the meeting. Really sad. <laughs> but I was happy to spend, um, to be there in Arizona for my dad's birthday. Um, Texas is the best. I just got off the last call. I sent in the remainder of my episodes and everything for my podcast. If you guys don't already listen, you guys should go listen. So all that is set for the remainder of the year. This week's episode that's up on Thursday is with Heather of With Honor. So it's really helpful for like social media strategy. Really just like a practical, valuable episode. Next week, which is Christmas Eve, is with Dom. So you guys will love that one. We do our book club recap. If you guys haven't read in a holidays, you should. And then we also do an advice portion. Like that's the majority of the episode. The book club is like the very end. And then New Year's Eve will be with Gretchen. So I think you guys are really going to like the next few years, years, the next few weeks of episode. I'm starting to plan my like 2021 content, which I know is like so ridiculous. I don't know if I'm just like emotionally burnt out as a human being or I'm not, I don't feel like I'm actually burnt out with work. I think I'm just like emotionally burnt out does that make sense i don't know guys um but i've just been thinking about content next year and i really 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 want to focus in like all new ways because while i've been in school even though it hasn't been like the most time consuming just the past semester actually actually that's not true really just the last session knowing that i'm just graduating and this is like the one thing that I, and this is like what i can really focus on I want to make my stuff so much better. I need to do more sit down videos of things that are actually like searchable and clickable. So people are like, so there's like new people actually finding my content, but also just like helpful. So whatever you guys want to see from me, comment below. I know we're not in like a 2021 mindset yet, but if you guys have any requests, let me know. I am going to go downstairs and see the kitchen. I haven't been able to see it. I haven't seen it since it got cleaned earlier. Come on, Mr. Handsome. There's nothing like getting your kitchen professionally clean. Ow. Oh my, ugh. Looks and feels so much better. I'm gonna put the remainder, all this stuff away. She cleans like inside, like deep, deep cleaned. Oh, the microwave, guys, wow. It is 4.30 and this is already me, guys. Oh my gosh, it is my last school night ever. I, I just got this Barefoot Dreams robe. My house is full of Barefoot Dreams blankets, so it was only fitting. It is so soft. Oh my gosh, I know Brooke has one. I've always wanted one. I don't know why I've never asked for it for Christmas. It's honestly such a good gift. I'll link it below or even a great thing to ask for if people keep hounding you and you just can't think of something. That's me, um, and it is just like the comfiest thing ever. I got a size small, and it just fits perfectly. I am normally between like a small and a medium, but so soft. I have my Ugg slippers on, matching pajama set, of course. I'm gonna start editing a little bit. I'm gonna edit a little bit. It is my last school night ever. Can you believe it? Also, I really love how this looks. Fits as bad as right there. Both of the dogs are just chilling. I don't think I'm gonna cook tonight. I, I just don't have the energy to like go to the grocery store. Honestly, I just don't really have the energy for anything today. I stopped working, I got off my calls, and all of a sudden, I, I don't know, I just lost all motivation to do anything, like at all. Okay guys, I'm honestly just gonna read and chill for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas, and I will see you tomorrow, my last day of school ever. This is my last school night ever which I know it's not normal, but you get what I'm saying, okay? This is a big deal. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow.